and welcome. My name is Kalondu Musimi Kamakaida, and you see me, it's an exclusive interview about to go down. And seated next to me is one of my favorites. She is a stylist, a business person, and everything to do with fashion, business, uh, glitz, and glam. Please give it up for Victor Maish. Hi. Hi, babe. How are you? I am fantastic. It's all about, you know, the glitz, the glam, the everything. But now, today, you left your wig at home. Why? Well, babe, you know now with the new endorsement that mm -hmm. I have, yeah. um, I'm doing so, a lot and lots of corporate meetings. Mm -hmm. So I, I'll go looking the part. I just can't go uh, looking like, you know. Yeah. 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 But then you see all the, uh, all the, the Victor Maish that we all know with expensive wig, yeah. with you know, very beautiful uh, clothes, fashion, glitz, glam. Are you going to delete that from us? Of course, no, honey. Victoria's is here to stay, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. It's just that um, when you enter into a corporate world, you need to dress the part, mm -hmm. you need to look um, like what you're selling. So I can't be there talking to um, a director mm -hmm. there in my wig, you know, also for the respect of the company mm -hmm. and for that person as well. Mm -hmm. They'll take me more serious when I go like this. But when it comes to the glam, yeah. when it's time to glam, we go full out, darling. Cindy, yeah, so, so it's not like a rebranding that is permanent? No, yeah. no. Uh, uh, what I'll say maybe is um, in every life and in every stage, you get to live according to that level that you're in at that moment. Yes. And I mean, right now, God has been gracious. We're in another level. So yes. why don't we enjoy the luxury of being in this corporate world? Yeah. So, yeah. Talking about the corporate world and, you know, the other level that you're in right now, I think we should be having champagne here. Yeah. Champagne. Talk to us about, you know, the champagne. So, yeah. Um, so... I'm a brand ambassador for the champagne. It's called Grand France. Mm -hmm. um, Grand France um, comes from Ukraine, mm -hmm. but um, it's made in, uh, in France, mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong, yeah, in France. Um, so it's one of the best champagne that you'll ever taste yeah. because uh, we're not just giving you champagne for the sake of champagne. Yeah. We are giving you luxury. We are giving you um, we are making sure your taste buds are not, will not be the same again. We are giving you something l top notch. Yeah. yeah. So Grand France is a brand from Ukraine. Um, they, are, they have the best champagne ever. Um, it's now available in Africa. Yeah. Yes. Um, and that's why now I'm on board because um, we are lucky enough to be the first people in Kenya to have and be stocking this brand so yeah so i'm the one representing the whole of africa wow. in the map yeah darling Goodness. <laughs> that is amazing i have to say congratulations you, yes and of course you know being a part yeah. well growing up and then growing up to you know uh take champagne wherever time i want what are some of the etiquette when it comes to champagne when it comes to such events to do with champagne drinking champagne such things you know what i mean yeah um basically uh, with champagne because it's all about lux it's a luxurious drink yeah so apart from looking the part there's the do's and don'ts like there's a proper there's a way for you to hold the float, the champagne float, yeah. Um, there's a way, I wish I had the glass would have shown you. Yeah. Um, there's also etiquette of how to open the champagne, you know. Um, people think this was splashing and nini, that's how it's, but no, that's not how you do it. Yeah. Um, you're supposed to open in an elegant, I mean, it's luxury. Yeah. yeah. Why, why, why spend so much money in a luxurious drink just to pour it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, babe. Luxury. That's th that's the meaning of living luxury. You know, you don't have time to do certain things. For I have nothing against people who do it, but I mean, if you're a champagne lover and you know the true meaning and definition of luxury, you, you're not allowed to do that. That's yeah. a, that's 
a top notch. Uh, you can't. It's a, it's a no go zone. Yeah. yeah. There's class that comes with it. Is he a slap? Kwanza. No. You know, because there you are, you're holding a nice bottle of champagne. You yes. know, it's meant to be taken when you're celebrating something mm -hmm. or just when you're relaxing. You yeah. know, it's just that drink that even you, when you drink it, you're like, ah. Yes. I deserve it, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So there's no need for you to kufanya zote juu It's unnecessary. I mean, if you're if you're into luxury, live the part, look the part, be yeah. luxury. Yeah. Yeah. And I know since you're the brand ambassador in Africa, yeah. it comes with a lot. You've mentioned, you know, the rebranding and everything. But pia sisi tu kikuangalia tu kwa like where the bank account is lauded because honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean it's champagne. That you can't be a brand ambassador of champagne and you're getting peanuts Ooh. you know so okay. yeah so we are grateful uh, for the chance because um, as, as I told you earlier it comes with lots and lots of responsibility you know yeah. people just think they see the fancy stuff the fun the fun part of it mm -hmm. but they don't know the work you have to put behind it yeah, yeah. like since after I got um, um, the champagne uh, brand I had to go for etiquette lessons Ooh. yeah I also had yeah <laughs> Yeah, because babe, even how you address people, even how you talk, mm -hmm. you need to look the part and they can't afford to have just anyone going there to do their shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. Just some tips into, you know, the etiquette lessons that you went to. Some of the things that you can teach us today in terms of etiquette are? Um, in regards to the champagne, as I told you, the first thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, in regards to the champagne, um, you, you, the way you open the nini, you don't have to splash it, yeah? Because you have to be careful. Because when you pop the champagne, um, the, the, um, the, top, the top part might hit someone and it can kill because of the pressure, you know? So when you do that, actually it's very dangerous. So that's one of the things you should not do. Yeah. Um, the other thing um, I got to learn was also how to speak to people, yeah. Also, um, I got to um, learn how to sit properly in a what? proper, yeah, in a proper manner. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, babe, how to sit, how to talk to people, how to eat your food, mm -hmm. all this come in handy because you get, you end up sitting in um, in big tables yeah. um, with prominent people, with proper people, yeah. and you have to have that etiquette with you. It's, you can't just show up. Yeah. yeah. You can just, you know, show up and you're like, yes. Yes, <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> yeah, so if you've seen also, um, even from the way I talk, mm -hmm. a lot of things have changed. Even from my aura, my energy has also changed. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you need, you need to come with that. You can't, and then you know me, I'm from the hood. Yes. Yes. So as I imagine. Yes. Eh, manzi. Eh, yeah. <laughs> streets. Yeah. So lazima ni also ni rebrand ni ji position for yeah. this name. And I mean, this is something I was praying to God mm -hmm. for, and He He listened to me, and yeah. He had my prayers and He offered to me. So why not? Yeah. I mean, Mungu yeah. akifungu yuo mlango, so unachuko na unenda nae. Ama. Look at God. Imagine ume, ume mentioned where well, kutoka Gedo. Gedo. Manze to here now. How was it growing in Gidorai? Um. Well. First, I come from a very spiritual family, um, uh, and that's the reason why I don't even post my family online because I want to protect them, you know. Um, so, yeah, so you may imagine Kwanza of Melewa Gedo, I love when I'm taught to our pastor. So, yeah, it was, it was tough because I have a responsibility. Also, Kanisa, they were expecting you as they. Um, Pastor's son, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was hard. Yeah. And then Kumbuka, I'm a gay man yeah. in, um, in the slums. Mm -hmm. um, but I thank God uh, I was never harassed. I was never, I couldn't have told me I was also, I thank my mom for the position she had in that area. Yes. Yeah. So your mom was the pastor? Yeah, my mom was the pastor. Yeah. She is still the pastor. Yeah, pastor. Yeah, yeah. And, and for, for them to, uh, you know, uh, expect you to take over, you know, 
because uh, najua inakuanga calling for you, yes so for you sijui reaction yako ilikuaje in terms of kuambia I am not able ama bado you're still into the calling you want to do it bado ama um, well I always say um, spirituality it's about you and your God yeah or whatever you're believing um, even the Bible says who are we to judge the only person is allowed to judge is God um, our relationship, I would say, it took time to get to where we are right now. There's a period of like two years, especially after I came out, a period of two years that I, I, I left home, things happened because yeah. Yeah, so of course there was prayers, because at that time they don't understand, you know, because even with their generation, how we live, what is going on, you know, they're like, ah, any people make we we lazima to defeat. But um, eventually, after the two years breakup uh, we had with my parents, um, now slowly by slowly, now that's when now we, we, we had a sit down. They were like, okay, now explain to us wh wh what is this about? What does it mean? So how do you go about it? So how do you plan to move ahead? So how are you protecting yourself? Um, and after we had that conversation, right now, um, our relationship, I think, even has become even more stronger, yeah. um, especially with, with my mom. Um, we are best friends. Like, she's my best friend. She's the only person who... If I'm going through something, I can call, break down, you know, tell her. <laughs> and then, of course, it's not, even for her, it's not easy. Kumbuka, back at home, yako, apo, abado, anafanya, pasi, congregation, wantaka answers. Watu mtani, wantaka answers. Marafiki zake, pia, wantaka answers. Ni inaendelea. You get, so... I quite easy, but we thank God. Pole pole too. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever go back to the church, to her church? Yeah, I always go. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that I don't post it or talk about it. Um, I go. Uh, I visit once in a while, but I also have my own church that I go to. Yeah. Um, to winter. Yeah, Pastor Julian. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I go to church yeah. every now and then. Yeah. Because of course you coming out to tell her these and these and to explain to her, she also had her own concerns. Yeah. What are some of the concerns your mom had? Uh, first, of course, it was what what mm -hmm. Yeah. Second, ukumbuke alikuwa tayari na expectations. Alikuwa amejua kwa watoto wake mimi ndo na kuja kuchukua hii kitu, okay? Cuz nikiwa hata mdogo I was I was so into church, nimeloa kwa kanisa so na imagine. So what what it all kwa na niongoje. So high expectations first they were crushed, yeah. you know. And then also the, I think the biggest of them all ni what what asema. Mm -hmm. You know, because all of us, kila kitu tunafanya, at the very end of the day, tunafanya, okay, but it's not what I say, my nini. Mm -hmm. But once you, you, you sit down and you're like, ah, f it, you know, um, ata waseme, watu wata kusa kuongea, watu wongea, and the people who really mean good to you, and who are there for you, and they love you, wata elewa, so, yeah, to me fi kapo. <laughs> And then encourage, she calls me, she sends me um nini nikio na majaribio na call and then encourage and I'm si jali my son. She prays for me, she she anoints me. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, and there's nothing as good as having that. A mother's love. Yeah. I, um I always say regardless of what nini the only thing that can conquer is love because yes. about with love regardless of a mother's love mm -hmm. uh, a father's love or even a friend's love love is the only thing that can change yeah. and can make a whole mountain yeah. issue okay yeah where are you at with your dad right now um me and my dad w we talk once in a while but um since they separated with my mother um, uh, since when i was um, a child so he left he went he started another family of which I respect his decisions and everything so we talk but not quite often mm -hmm. but we keep in touch yeah. yeah what about your your siblings as well do you do you speak are you in good terms as well yeah with my siblings um, I'm in good terms I'm the last born Woo! yes doll yes
So don't forget. <laughs> Explains why. Yeah. So even after growing up, it was just me and my mom most of the parts because yeah. all my, my, my siblings are, are grown as mm -hmm. people. They have family. I'm the only person who they're still waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to Nongyanga, at first, at our, I because yeah. I mean, imagine now trying to explain to somebody who is 40 years why iki tu ni nini una manisha nini o ati tu umekuwa tu hivyo ai ati elewi you know yeah. but when you sit down with them now they start like ah makes sense because even from when I was young nilikuwa napenda kubeba handbags like hey, anybody would come yeah any woman that would enter with a handbag, yeah. that's the last time she'll carry that bag. What? Imagine. So, I love you because there's lots of friends. Yeah. Because now I, I can't play football. I never used to go. Either I used to go to the house, or I used to go to the house, or I used to go to the house. So, my siblings, it took time, but at least. To co-host us at least. We, we are in talking terms. Everybody is living their life. They are all grown ups. We have families. Yeah. We meet all of us as a family. Yeah. And at the very end of the day, I think we got to a point to Kakatu Kasema. You know what? Liwe liwalo. This is the only family I have. Yeah. You know. So ikabidi tu tu melewana na tu kishiki moja. You know, with different ways of you know getting kids nowadays yeah. or just having a family. Yeah. Do you plan on having your own family? Oh my God, I've been praying about it, yeah. and I can't wait. You know, nivenye ba duata si japa Yeah. You know. Sasa sasa pia ni juu atu tuju na taka mtu inagani qualities na zondo atu juu. Where where? Let me rectify. Yeah. Si mtu. Mm -hmm. Kuna mtu mahali, mm -hmm. lakini wacha tu never nyana behave. Ana cheza cheza. Ako tu, ako tu. Ako. We are, I mean, for the first time, we ndo mtu ni mwana ako serious. Yeah. But wacha tu one. Yeah. May the best man win. Woo! Darling. Because Darling. Yes. Darling. Kwa sababu, sai, uh, watu wako. Yeah. I think I'm just the, to sit down na nichagwe ni nani yeah. nataka. Yeah. Eh, but you, may you choose the best one because they say you kiss many frogs before you find yeah. the one. Kabisa. Nimekwambia may the best man win. Yeah. Wote wakuje, wanitongoze tuone. Now what are the qualities that you actually want? Um I would say two. Mm -hmm. Two of them wako nayo. Au wengine tu wako. What are these qualities? Why? Hey, the main one, I'm at two, because the list is endless. 